Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from DSLR Pros, and today I'm very happy to have with me Grant Hostica from DJI, and we're gonna be talking about Flight Hub 2. So stick around. Flight Hub 2, what is it? Well, I like to describe it simply as live operations management. Okay. You're able to get information from the drone pilot to other people on the team. So who is it really designed for? Anyone who's gonna want live information from the pilot or someone who might wanna push information from their computer out to the pilot. So maybe a use case would be like a public safety situation where there's a command center and then there are people on the ground and being able to sort of coordinate all that with the information that's provided by the drones, that kind of a, a situation for Flight Hub 2. Another thing as well, which we'll get into later on, is you know being able to take data from your computer, pushing it out to the controller as well. So if you're doing an inspection, you want to pre-plan a mission, or you want to share where infrastructure is that you're looking at, there's another option. Uh, which of the DJI drones is it compatible with? Yes, so the M30 series that we have here, awesome. and then also the Matrice 300 series, optimized for work with the H20 series, the new H20N, H20T, H20. Got it. So, so Flight Hub 2 is really an enterprise-specific product. That's correct, yes. So obviously, there's a lot of information going back and forth between the drone, the controller, the computer. Uh, what is DJI doing to secure the end user's data? Flight Hub 2, information is hosted on AWS servers here in Virginia. The platform is also ISO 27001 compliant, which is a bit of a mouthful, but essentially a national standard in regards to data security. So obviously with the name Flight Hub 2, this is not just another upgrade to Flight Hub 1. What is the big difference between Flight Hub 1 and Flight Hub 2? Flight Hub 1, end of life, kind of in the past. Flight Hub 2, new platform, going to build on that into the future. So live operations management really is the focus here. You'll see on the live map there, you can hold the control key on the keyboard, manipulate the map and a 2.5D is what we call it, so you can see any terrain in the area, very useful for operations. And then also in that map view, view the current drone location, the altitude, turn the laser rangefinder on, see exactly what that camera is looking at, along with the video feed. You can look at the FPV camera or whatever feed from the payload that the pilot has up. So can you walk me through how that would work? How would we plan a route and manage a mission with Flight Hub 2? Yeah, so there's a few different features in regards to route planning or missions we might, might talk about. Maybe let's give an example search and rescue workflow or post-disaster scenario here. Maybe arriving on scene, you need some updated imagery to understand like what you're looking at or share with other stakeholders. So what you can do actually is called live 2D mapping. You can plan it on the controller, just check one box that says you'd like to do live cloud reconstruction. As a drone is flying, doing that typical lawnmower pattern for mapping, it's gonna upload the imagery to Flight Hub 2 and it'll stitch that imagery in real time. So you, then you get an updated 2D base map on both the controller and the computer. And you can do that in visual or IR. So really two options to work with there. On the flip side of things, you also have mission planning for you know, your regular waypoint missions. Currently we have the Matrice 30 series and waypoint planning. Going to expand on that for mapping, Matrice 300 series. But you're able to plan your waypoint mission on the larger screen, on the computer, adjust it to terrain as well, and then push that directly to the controller for the pilot to execute. So it really takes out needing to do that on the RC. You can obviously check, you can obviously edit on the RC, but being able to plan that on the computer ahead of time or push it to a pilot in the field is quite useful. Wow, that's amazing. So there's a lot of information, a lot of data going back and forth. How do you manage the media uh, when it comes to storing this information in this ecosystem? So you have the optional capability on the controller to push any photos, videos, or panoramas to the cloud. And then obviously can view those. You can record live streaming as well, and that goes into the media section within the Flight Hub 2. For those photos or videos, you can put them onto a specific point on the map. So during your operation, you can see, hey, where was that photo taken? What does it look like? Or the panorama, very useful if we're trying to get a quick 360 view of an area low megabyte size, only 30 megabytes compared to a lot of photos. So if you're struggling with internet connectivity, the panorama can be very useful to get a quick overall view of the scene. So how is Flight Hub 2 integrated into the new RC Plus? You just open up our new Pilot 2 app, 
On the home screen, you'll see an option to connect to any cloud platform. That could be a third party through the cloud API or Flight Hub 2. You're just with your DJI account linked to the project. Simply click on that and you're connected. Obviously, there's a lot going on with Flight Hub 2. Is there anything else you want to mention? Yeah, I think one thing is the ability within the Flight Hub 2 software to import and export KMLs. So uh -huh. on the new Pilot 2 app, and using the laser rangefinder, we can drop pins, which are points. We can draw lines, and we can also draw polygons. So if you'd like to export those from Flight Hub as a KML to another third-party service, I know search and rescue team, some use something called like Sartopo. That's an option. And then on the flip side, as a utility, if we're trying to bring in line and pull data, you can go ahead and import KMLs as well that the pilot can then see directly on the controller. Sounds like an amazing tool. Uh, Grant, thank you so much for coming and sharing uh, Flight Hub 2 with us. We're very excited about Flight Hub 2. Hope you are as well. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via email, give us a call, or reach us at our website at dslrpros.com. Let us know what you think about Flight Hub 2 and what your favorite feature is in the comments below. I'm Jeremy. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.